Hey everyone, welcome back. Thank you very much for joining me on the channel today. As always, it's great to come back at you with a brand new release. Of course, big up to all of you guys that are supporting over on the FYM Patreon. If you want to come over and support, you come to patreon.com forward slash FYM Productions Media. Now, we have got a brand new release. Granted, I know this did come out a couple of days ago, so I am a few days late, but I can't always jump on things straight away. It's just life, man. It's just how it goes. So we have a new one from the Amity Affliction, and this one is called It's Hell Down Here. Now, I'm not sure whether this is from, like, an upcoming album, EP. I don't know. Album, I'm hoping. It would be really, really cool if it is. I don't know anything about this song. I just had one of my friends. Mr. Matthew Sipecar over at Pugcore YouTube channel. He did recommend this one and he knows I love the Amity Affliction. So, of course, had to be done. We've got to get on some. So, if you do dig the music from this band, if you're not already following, please do make sure to follow them on all of their socials. I'll make sure it's all dropped down below. Let's get into it, guys. This is the Amity Affliction and this is It's Hell Down Here. Let's check it. Is it heaven up there because it's hell? Beautiful cleans as always. Is it heaven up there because it's hell down here? I in, okay. They're going all out with this one. A little bit when we get footage in videos like this. Man, if you live in Australia, you're so lucky to get to see this band all the time. I just can't believe how hard they're going with this one. Sexy bitch. That sign of you saved my life, man. Just remember that. Man, this one's really heavy on the emotions. Down here. 
Always a good day when those boys drop a release. <sighs> Alright guys, so that was the Amity Affliction with It's Hell down here. This was a really, really emotional one for me. And you kind of, you kind of don't realise it at first until you really start to pay attention to the lyrics. Because generally going into these these songs, I, I, try, I, I always try to not look at the lyrics beforehand. So I sort of, I, have an, I don't have this like pre-existing thought in my mind of exactly what it's going to be and I, I i do like to do it that way but obviously afterwards i always i have a listen back through and uh, try and sort of like dissect it a little bit as best as i can now this track starts off really really fast paced and i do like that i wasn't really expecting that with these guys and generally speaking i do kind of like it when we get the softer moments from the amity affliction don't get me wrong i absolutely love it when they bring those fast heavy moments it's really really cool but even taking the aggressive side out of this when you go into the lyrics you will notice this is a really really sad song and of course that's the main reason why i think the majority of us love the amity affliction as i said in the video there pay attention to there was a person in the crowd there with a sign that says you saved my life and that is the case for so many bands there's certainly a number of bands that frankly have, have got me through some really really tough times like um you know jesus i'm always smashing my head into that over the last like five years and the bands that come to mind obviously the amity affliction dream state stellaris as everything unfolds those are sort of like the main ones that i can sort of think of because i I do like to get my big sad on. I do like to get my big sad on with my music, but it kind of helps me to process the emotions that I I suppose I can go through from, from time to time. I am actually a very, very positive person, so it doesn't happen a lot, but, you know, sometimes, sometimes man, you just need to get into your sadness. You do, and, you know, we. I think everybody, everybody should. There's nothing wrong with, like, getting your big sad on. There's nothing wrong with that. Oh, helps you sort of like push past it and process all of those emotions. And I think it's a really important thing to do. Anyway, back to the song. I know I can go off on tangents sometimes. I absolutely love this song. At first, I wasn't 100% sure because, as I said, I do prefer it when we do get the like softer moments from this band. But when it went into those clean sections, I absolutely love that. They've got one of the best. They've got one of the best clean vocalists in this particular type of genre always been a big big fan of those cleans they're, they're just frankly amazing and this man kills it live as well I did get to see them when i was in the states and it was just an experience like nothing else i absolutely loved it but when you do delve deep into these lyrics it's very very sad i think the song is about somebody either a close friend or family member who maybe is going through some sort of terminal illness and they have to see that day in day out and they can feel their pain and at the same time they they know that they're going to be disappearing because you do have lines in the song where they say um where is it i can feel your fears and i can taste your tears is it heaven up there because it's held down here so i think at that point the person's the person's gone and again they say you're so distant now a world away i'm winding down your breaking heart your daily tears i'm watching you in slow motion a broken dream of deathly calm. There's nothing on the horizon. This at the end of the lyrics really, really kind of shocked me when I read it. And it says, no more dead ends, no more heartbreak, no more dead friends. That's some really, really, um, they can be quite tough lyrics, I guess, for some people. I guess in, in some ways it can be triggering. And you know, you know what? I'm quite lucky that, I mean, there's, there's only really two people I can think of. I want I'm going to say if anyone had anyone massively close to me that has like gone, but you know what, man, it, it just, this song really got me thinking of all the amazing people that I've met through doing these, these crazy videos that I do. And they mean the absolute world to me. And honestly, I cannot think of a world where they won't be there anymore, whether it's just, you know, to get a, a message off them to ask me how I'm doing or, you know, me to just, I don't know send them like a song recommendation like the the people that i interact with them um, the the people that are close to me they know they know how much i 
I appreciate them and how much I value them. And so as far as I'm concerned, they're, they're family to me. All you guys that do do speak to me, you know, I do really consider yourselves as family. And I really, really appreciate that. And I love how getting to check out music like this sort of brings that out of me because I don't think... I think at times as, as people, we don't always bring those emotions out and express that to the to the people that are close to us and i think it's really really important to do that because you know sometimes you might do anything and do, you, you always think in your mind like oh god they're getting on an emotional one like all right mate calm down but it's important man so if you can take anything from this video you know that friend who you appreciate who brings something special to your life um it doesn't matter whether it's like a loved one a best friend somebody who just you know if you feel that guides you on the right path if you don't tell them man reach out to them tell tell them how much they mean to you tell them that they love you if you see them give them a hug and just let them know how how appreciate how, how much you appreciate them i will definitely be doing the same i definitely will but yeah man absolutely love this really really great track from the amity affliction i i love it when they get me all all emotional like this you know I do like to get in the feels. But guys, please do let me know what you thought of this one in the comments down below. As always, I'll be back in the next one. So thank you very much for tuning in. I'll see you in the next one. And I'll catch you next time. Cheers.